Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a receptacle that is not working. This is a receptacle that is not working. So what I've done, and what I suggested you do right away, is plug in an outlet tester like this one into the outlet. And you see right here, there's an index. And check what you have as far as a light. We have one green light on the right right here and check it against the index. And the index says open neutral. So our problem is open neutral. The first thing I'm going to do is turn off the circuit breaker. But before I turn off the circuit breaker, I'm going to take this opportunity to test my voltage detector. See, it works just fine. You put it in the hot slot right here and that does tell us something. It tells us that we do have electricity coming to this receptacle. So it's pretty much agreeing with the outlet tester because the tester says open neutral. It doesn't say anything about the hot wire being a problem. That shows that our voltage detector is working properly. I've turned off the circuit breaker and the outlet tester is indicating that the electricity is off. Now that we're certain that the electricity is off, that the circuit breaker is off, I'm going to take off the wall plate and remove the receptacle. I've removed the receptacle now and I'm going to double check to make sure there's no hot wires in the box. And there isn't. So let's examine the receptacle. We have a hot wire coming to the bronze terminal which is proper. We have a white neutral wire coming to the silver terminal which is proper. We have a ground wire coming to the uh, green grounding terminal which is proper. Okay, we'll give all the the grounds in the lever nut here this is called a Wago lever nut. I give them all a tug and make sure they're tight. They're all tight. Okay, I'm going to check, make sure this is tight. Make sure this neutral wire is tight. It is. Okay, the metal box is bonded back there. You see a bonding screw. Everything seems proper in this box. I'm not finding any problem at all in this box. I don't I don't see why it, it would be a problem here. I want to point out one thing. It's, there's just one cable coming to this box so that means that this is the end of the run box and uh, what we're going to need to do is look at the next receptacle upstream because that's where we may find our open neutral problem. I have turned the circuit breaker on just briefly for this test. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and see we get two lights on either side and if you look at the index it says correct wiring so this one is wired correctly so the box on the left shows correct wiring the box on the right has shown open neutral now I'm going to turn the circuit breaker off I've turned the circuit breaker back off and the outlet detector says there's no electricity in the box and I'm going to use my voltage detector and it also it agrees that the circuit breaker is off. So now I'm going to go ahead and take off the wall plate and remove the receptacle and we're especially going to be looking for the neutral connection that brings the neutral wire over to this receptacle. I've removed the wall plate and taken out the outlet and now I'm going to use my voltage detector as a double check to make sure that there is no hot wire at all in this box. Okay, so let's pull this out and examine everything. Okay, here's the, here's the hot wires. We have one coming from the source, we have one going to this receptacle, and we have one going over to the next downstream receptacle. So and they all look nice and tight. Okay, so the hot wires seem okay. Okay, now let's look at the neutral wires. We should have the same as the hot wires, being that we should have one 
neutral wire coming from the source, the power source, one pigtail going to the receptacle and one going over to the other receptacle, but we only have two in the connector. So let's pull it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We've got a, a wire in here that for some reason was not connected and it is a neutral. So perhaps it broke off. Perhaps it was a, a bad job of wiring. So it looks like this unattached neutral wire may well have been the problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and strip off a little bit of the wire and with my meter on continuity and of course the electricity off I'm going to put one lead on the, the white wire and one lead right here on the silver terminal and we find they are continuous so this is the neutral wire in question right here this is the neutral wire that travels from this upstream box to this end of the run box right here since there's woggle lever nuts connecting these wires all we have to do is open up a slot put the wire in the woggle lever nut clamp it down give it a nice tug and make sure it's connected you can turn it around and you can see it's, it's clear back here so you can see that all three of the neutrals are in the connector very well so now we're going to dress the wires push that in there push that in there now I'll put a couple wraps of black electrician's tape around the receptacle for safety tighten down the receptacle and put on the wall plate now I'll put a couple wraps of black electrician's tape around the original receptacle for safety. You make bends in the wires, kind of like an accordion, and you just press it in. Now tighten down the receptacle and put the wall plate back on. Now I've turned the circuit breaker back on, and I'm going to plug my outlet tester into the original receptacle that had the problem. And we have the two green lights that indicate correct wiring. And we'll try it on the other part of the outlet that works fine and we'll plug it in over here on the first outlet but that still works fine so everything works great so that's how you fix a receptacle that isn't working due to open neutral but the problem was not in this box the problem was in the next upstream box where there was a loose or cut or damaged neutral wire I'll put links in my video description for the fluke 117 True RMS Electrician's Multimeter, and I'll put links for the Fluke Alligator Clip Set, Wago Lever Nuts in the 2, 3, and 5 connector sizes, as well as the Multipack that includes an organizer, the Fluke Soft Case, the Fluke Voltage Detector, and the Ideal Circuit Breaker Finder, which includes a transmitter that is an excellent outlet tester, which I used in the video. The receiver and the transmitter together make an excellent circuit breaker finder. Thank you. I hope this video was helpful.